makes the catch. Amazing catch by Junior as he takes a home run away from Luis Gonzalez. My, oh my. Perfect timing and Junior receiving a standing ovation here. High deep drive in the left field. Down into the corner again. And Intendi near the wall. Leaps. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. Beltre homered his last time up there. Hammered a pitch right there. Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game four of the National League Championship Series between the New York Mets and the Washington Nationals. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. and first pitch are next. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch, let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your Washington Nationals. And briefly here, a glance at the two starters who'll get the ball here in this one. And now a chance to meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? You know, I'm looking forward to seeing if that man hitting eighth can continue to stay hot. Yeah, eighth. He's an imposing figure with a bat in his hands. Always seems to turn in a good at bat. And he can do a lot of damage when he barrels up the ball. Joe Ross is charged with keeping their hopes alive on the mound here in the league championship series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard and soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you could throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. All right, here's how the Nats line up defensively, brought to you by Majestic. And I'm looking at the catcher, Matt Weeders. Biggest compliment I ever heard from Matt Weeders. Nobody catches a throw from the outfield and tags a runner better than him. He'll take a shot, too. He also calls a pretty good game. And a swing by Reyes as this is hit on the ground out to second. Throw on to first will take care of Reyes, and that's how we get things started. Out of second, second baseman, and dribble the Brown. Here now is his dribble Cabrera, lifetime against Joe Ross, a three for 12 line. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. The next three two. Hit sharply on the ground. 
on the first, and Cabrera is a ground out victim. Two away. Batting third, the right fielder number 30, Michael Santoso. Just getting started here in our nation's capital. Hey. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. The one and two pitch. And the fastball easy to lay off that time, two and two. And there is our officiating crew in this one, calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Well, Ferg really does call a solid game back there. He does reward a pitcher for good location at times, but his reviews tend to be very good most of the time. Dribbled up the line, to his left, Lind. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Mets. And now the Nationals get their first opportunity. No score. And a look now at the hometown Nationals starting lineup. Now how do they go about staying alive in this one, Harold? Well, Matt, they got a great pitcher on the mound. So to me, my philosophy changes when I know he's throwing. I only need a couple runs. So I get that leadoff guy on. I may move him up and drive in a run every time I get an opportunity. And then it just relaxes him on the mound as well, knowing he's got a couple runs early and let him do his thing. Noah Sindergaard will be on the mound for game four. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. And in the outfield, Michael Conforto. He's had to learn how to play on the corners. He was a center fielder in college, but now playing on the corners, he's had to learn all the angles. But it looked like he caught on quick. Into the box now, Trey Turner. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Swing and a liner, but foul. One and two, here it comes. Again, he sends it out of play. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base. Nobody on. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. This is in the air out to right field. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. On his way to second is Eaton. And he's in at second base with a first inning double. That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat.
Payoff pitch one more time. And another foul ball. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. And with two away, here's a look at our updated playoff brackets. And the question on everyone's mind is, will we be able to punch our first ticket to the World Series after tonight's ball game? Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Hit out towards second. Taken there by Cabrera. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. An inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on MLB Network. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Lifetime against Joe Ross. He's got five base hits in 19 tries. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. A dangerous changeup left high, but called for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Waiting in the on deck circle is David Wright. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Stepping in now, David Wright. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. That was a good pitch to hit. He wants that one back. He was just a little bit late on it. Another payoff pitch. Down the third baseline. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's there, and he's out. And here's that one again with show track. Great reactions to knock it down with the sliding stop. And almost just as impressive was the throw all the way across to beat the runner. Any way you look at it, a fantastic play. In now, Wilmer Flores. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. No score here as we play inning number two. And that misses ball four. And now the Mets have themselves a two out base runner. Boy, oh boy. That's a tough one for the pitcher. He's definitely wondering where the heck was that pitch? I think he called it high, but our strike zone says otherwise. Here's the catcher Travis Darno, lifetime against Joe Ross. Nine hits in 15 tries. Here's the 0 and 2. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Mets leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. In now is Anthony Rendon as they'll have five six and seven here to start the home half of the second. Oh. 
breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Flores is there for it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Batting six, first baseman, Adam Lynn. Stepping up to the plate, Adam Lind, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Bottom of the second here with no score. And this will be fouled away. One and two, here it comes. Swing and a little blooper to center. Coming in is Ligaris. Two down. Left fielder, Jason Wood. Here's Jason Worth. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. Four hits in 26 at bats. 11 strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. And this is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. That's a nice spot for a pitcher down there below the knees. But I think that calls a little bit low. Bases are empty here with two men out. Waved yeah. at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one, and the inning is over. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Now at the plate, Juan Ligares. He'll match up now with Joe Ross to lead off the inning. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. And he lays off their ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Hey, they haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. At the plate, Noah Sindergaard. A textbook sack bunt situation here. Mets are still looking for their first hit of the ball game. Now a bunt attempt here. One there. Back to Murphy and they get them both. Oh, that's the last thing you want to happen when you're trying to bunt a guy into scoring position. He got it down, but you have to deaden the ball too. Otherwise, these infielders just eat it up and turn it into a double play. Into the box now, Jose Reyes. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Ray is awaiting the three one. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Heading for second is Reyes. And he will pull into second with a two-out double. Yeah, this one was starting now to look like it was going to be one of those baseman. one, two, three and easy double. innings. But now all of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here. Standing in now as Drupal Cabrera. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. One and two, here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this.
Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And this is chopped foul near the plate, and the count will move to one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And there's a sinker that he just spits on as it misses low. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Here's a swing and a high pop up. Cindergaard is there for it, one out. Joe Ross. Digging in, Joe Ross. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. Well, and there's ball two now. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. This is flared out towards second. On to first, and there were two down. The batter number seven, shortstop, Trey Turner. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Come on. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. That's it to short. Does he have another 1 2 3 inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. Nationals gone in order. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left handed side of the batter's box to start things out. Here's the one and one delivery. A fastball that just misses inside. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. Tough slider down low for a strike. Two and two count. Here it comes. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. On the move is Harper. Makes the play one away. So with the fly out there coming on the fastball, seems like an appropriate time to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And whoa, you see the big number. How about 99 for a top speed? Not too many guys around the league can match that. Here's your one to Cespedes. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Called oh, strike two as he locks him up there. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you want to throw, throw it over for a strike. And he got him. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. Here's the third baseman, David Wright, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Favorable call in there for a strike. Yeah. 
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. High in the air out to center field. Eaton is under it. And that retires the side. Mets go down one, two, three. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. In now is Adam Eaton. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. One and one, here it comes. Chopped foul over towards the dugout. Here's the one and two delivery. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Now another one two. And he gets under this one as the ball is skied into very shallow right. And Cabrera will take this one for the first down. The batter, second baseman, Daniel Murphy. Here's Daniel Murphy now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3 0. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Even though he let that one go, you know that's the kind of pitch he likes to take a big hack at. Not too many power hitters that don't like a stomach high fastball, so he's probably not throwing that one again. Hot shot down the line. Wright has it. Throw in time at first for out number two. Right fielder number 34. Bryce Harper. So two are gone now in the Nationals fourth. And that'll bring in a dangerous hitter indeed in the form of Bryce Harper. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw in time and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Washington. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. Here it comes on one and one. And the slider stayed low apparently for a ball. Ready to deal. Here's the two one. Looks at a changeup on the inside corner for a strike. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Well, he's been throwing the ball pretty well so far, but right here, three balls to the leadoff guy to maybe get them a chance to get them going. He's just got to come back, make them swing the bat. I'd rather see him earn his way on the base by swinging the bat instead of a walk. Heading out towards shallow right. Under it is Harper, and Bryce has got it for the first down. Up next for the Mets, catcher Travis Darno. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And this is swung on and missed. So it's two up, two down to start the fifth. The great equalizer, the changeup. That was a really good job of getting him to offer that one out of the zone. And it was all set up by the fact that he got ahead in the count and forced the hitter to have to protect. That's the name of the game. Stepping in now, Juan Ligares. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Yeah. 
Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. If it was a little closer, you might get a swing. Set to deal. Here's the three one. Slider up that he gets a call on. That's the third slider in a row, and I'm going to tell you what, I think he'll probably throw four and maybe five if he needs it. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. This is line to left, and that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. So on a full count pitch, he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. No respect. They know you're struggling, so they came right at you with the fastball 3 2, and you got the base hit. That's got to make you feel pretty good. In now, Noah Sindergaard. And that misses two and one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. A runner on first with two away. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Eaton is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Mets strand one. Halfway home, still no score. In now is Anthony Rendon. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. Ready on one and two. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. Again, a one two. The breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going, and it's been all business. He's not messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone, and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Here's Adam Lind. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. On deck is Jason Worth. Bases are empty, one man out. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Oh, that looks like a pretty good pitch to hit. It's a little bit late, so he might have been just fooled just a tad bit, just enough not to square it up. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. You know, this is the kind of location you can get away with when you throw your fastball like that. That's certainly not where he wanted it to end up. But when it's coming in that hot, it's tough for guys to put it in play, especially when they're protecting with two strikes. Into the box now, Jason Worth. And he gets the call there, three and one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Nationals. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. Now here's the pitch. High pop-up. Cabrera is there for it. 
And that's the third out. Nationals gone in order. Sixth inning coming up. Still zip, zip. Digging in and looking for more. Jose Reyes. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One, one. And he misses 2-1. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Well, he falls behind 3 1 right now, but man, he's really throwing the ball well. He's been attacking them all game. Ray is awaiting the 3 1. A fastball right over the outside corner. Tell you what, his spot has been the outside pitch right there, and now we're late in the game, and he continues to pound the outside pitch, and it's really working out for him. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Yeah, as they say, there's a hole in his swing in that location. No so a good job 15. there of exploiting that. Base, that can be real hard for some guys to overcome when teams start figuring out what locations you just can't handle. Into the box as Drubal Cabrera. He swings and grounds it to short. Turner has it. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. The right fielder, number 30, Michael Santorco. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Two out, nobody on. is taken for a cold strike and he's not in love with that call either it's one and two now We're really watching a great performance this is a good hitting team he's got two outs already in the sixth inning we're one out away from watching him get through the sixth with all zeros on the board now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field and he will make the catch just shy of the track and the inning is over down in order go the Mets and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Digging in to try it again. Matt Wieters. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Cespedes racing back. He tracks it down. A nice running play, and there's one away. Joe Ross. So stepping in, Joe Ross comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the one and one pitch. A wave and a miss, a tick behind a good fastball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far in this one, and there was another good fastball for a strike out there. Stepping in now, Trey Turner. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Adam Eaton would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And here's a pitch inside, and that got him. Oh, and that was a big mistake right there. This guy might be their best base stealing front in the lineup, so now he's got a chance to move into scoring position without even putting the ball into play. In now is Adam Eaton. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. And the 1-1 pitch. 
That misses. Two and one the count now to the national center fielder. Now ball line foul up and over the Nationals dugout. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. One left for Washington. We are still scoreless. Back here at Nationals Park. Game four is off to the seventh inning now, but before we get it started, let's check out our game summary to this point. Here's you on assessment. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. And some action out in that Washington bullpen now as we see both a left-hander and a right-hander throwing. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. Makes the play one away. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Riding in once again, David Wright. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Well, he battled to get it to a 3 2 count, but that First pitch wasn't four. even close. Now he's Wilmer got a man on with Florida. one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. On his way out to the mound now is the Washington manager. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. He'll depart with our score tied and he'll still be accountable for the runner at first and the best he can do is a no decision in this one. Blake Trinan enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Blake Trinan. to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone and then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bad head out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Travis Darno. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. We've seen him go down in strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this at bat. Much more patient, and he's gotten himself into a good hitter's count. Action now in the Washington bullpen as a right-hander begins to get loose. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. And a very big mistake as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. Well, when a reliever comes in a game, he always wants to make a big impression. But I don't think uncorking a wild one was what he had in mind. Sometimes it takes a reliever a little bit of time to be comfortable on the mound out there. So we'll see if he can settle in. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Oh, and that ball misses four. ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Man, the pitcher's wondering how he didn't get that the call. Busted him 12. inside on a 3 1 Juan count. And the ump thought Lugano. it was just a tad off the plate. Tough to get the benefit of the doubt from the umpire when you fall behind in a count like that, though. Here's Juan Lagares. Two outs and two runners aboard here in the seventh inning.
takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Great spot with that pitch down and away. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep hitting that spot. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Pitch is way outside and he can't even get a glove on it. So now two men in scoring position. Second and third, two away. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Eaton is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand that potential go-ahead run at third base. It's time nice the job there by the Washington stretch. bullpen. It's stretch time here in our nation's capital, and we still have no score. Digging in once again, Daniel Murphy. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. One one on its way to Murphy. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. And a neck high fastball that time. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. And this is down at knee level as it's chopped foul at home plate. Here's another 2 2. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ballgame. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right, right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count, but clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Ready once again. Bryce Harper third trip to the plate for him here tonight 0 for 2 at this point. Here it comes on one and one. Takes a good swing but this will be a foul ball. He's been doing a nice job out there on the mound but the deeper you get into the game the more the hitters have seen you. This is the part of the lineup that he has to be really careful with. Squared that one up just a little late. Here's another one too. Here's a swing and a high pop up drifting toward the third base dugout and he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The third baseman number six Anthony Rendon. Ready for another shot now Anthony Rendon. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Trying to send him packing for the second time. It's a swinging bunt up the line. That veers foul, so they'll do it again on three and two. Boy, he's been great in this one, and he's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Conforto shading to his right, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. Still no score. Sammy Solis has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Sammy Solis. Gavin Cicchini is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Trying to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. 
And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. Our line score there says it all to this point, or if you prefer, it doesn't say anything. Nothing, nothing, our score, as you start to wonder if anyone's going to play to run in this one. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. He's working on a one for three thus far. Crowd gets up for the three two. Grounded to third. Throw gets him two down. The batter number 13, second baseman, has dribble Cabrera. Now to the plate as Dribble Cabrera. No hits in three tries so far. He's struck out once. The 1-1 home to Cabrera. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. Swing and a flare hit toward right. Harper is there and he'll put it away to retire the side. Mets go down 1-2-3. And this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. A.J. Ramos is on to pitch out of the bullpen the in the bottom half Number of the eighth. A.J. Ramos. So striding forward now, Adam Lind. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. And this is fouled back and out of play. The 3 2 one more time. Not much behind this as this ball is looped over toward first. But no problem at first, and that's the first out. Jason Coming to the plate now, Jason Ward. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. One out, nobody on. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind 1 and 2. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2 and 2. He's set. Here's the 2-2. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. There to take it in is Flores, and there are two away now. Now batting, catcher, Matt Weaver. Digging in now, Matt Weeders. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. And this is going to be a foul ball. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Nationals gone in order. We are still scoreless. Back now with baseball on MLB Network from the nation's capital. Just down the street from the Capitol building. We are set for what remains in this one. Joe Nathan will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Ryan Zimmerman is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Digging in Michael Conforto who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Full count here here comes the pitch and a swing and a miss good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. 
Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint to watching that They're high fastball, a high piece of cheese Yoenis swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Now the Nats are going to get a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. Standing in now, Yoenis Cespedes. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Ball three. Ball three. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys. So we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is eaten. He's got it, and there are two down now. The third baseman, number five, David Wright. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He's 0 for 2 with a walk thus far. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. 9 1 and 2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. And we still have no score. Jerry Blevins enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. The 0-2 home. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. And the throw is there to record the first down. The batter number seven. Striding in, Trey Turner. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Bases are empty, one man out. Shot towards second. In time to first, and there are two away. Oh, man, you can't hit a ball any harder than that. I mean, this ball gets on him in a heartbeat. Nice job to stay with it, though, and then make the out at first. At the plate, Adam Eaton. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Three up, three down for Washington. Still no score. Now at the plate, Wilmer Flores. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Tough one to lay off, ball to strike. Here's the one and two delivery. Here's a little chopper up the middle, played on the backhand. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. Well, it's late in the game, but I tell you what, a leadoff single, that's what you want to start the late innings. Now it sets you up to be able to manufacture or do some things and maybe get that run home. Time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He struck out twice thus far, so we'll see if he can fare any better here. The one and one pitch. Curveball that time, not even close. Now the 2 1. Never three. tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Well, now he's falling behind 3 1, and all the pitches have been down. He's trying to get that double play ball. But the strategy has to change now, and now he's got to throw a strike. Come on, guys. Turn two. 
the three one pitch grounder down the line at third. Oh look at Rendon to second for one. Oh but he beats it out. The center fielder number 12 Juan Lagarde. Stepping up to the plate, Juan Ligares, a hit in two official trips to the plate to this point in the ballgame. Here's the 2 2 pitch. In the dirt here, possible go ahead runs on first, one away. Now a soft liner to the right side, but foul. with another two strike offering and here's a ball hit in the air and that's in there base hit the throw into second and the throw will go to second as they get the force out oh man I don't know the how that happened. happened looked to be a base hit to the Nine, outfield but then all 11. of a sudden the throw comes in and they get the force on the play to be honest that just can't happen Takes over here with a runner at first and two gone in the inning. TJ Rivera will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. Sinker misses and it's one and two now. Now the one and two pitch. And this is going to find the crowd down the left field line. Count holds at one and two. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Eaton is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. So one will win it here as we go to the bottom of inning number 10, and we still have no score. Your Matt Reynolds please. will stay in the ball Our game as he'll take over at first man. base. Now playing first base, number 15, Matt Reynolds. Josh Edgen comes on to start Number the home 10th, and he's just hoping Josh to get this one Edgen. into the 11th inning. Here's Daniel Murphy now. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. He's set. Here comes the 1 1 down the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Tell you what, this is the wrong guy to float around with. He's been swinging about really good in this series, and he hasn't got a hit in this game yet. But I'm going to tell you what, I wouldn't mess with him. Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Well, I think he's trying to get that two-strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone to protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box now, Bryce Harper. Foul toward the third base dugout, but this will get back into the seats out of play. two strikes here it is 
There's a good swing by Harper, but this will drift foul off to the right and out of play. I like the pitch right there. Two strike fastball out of the zone. See if he'll chase. I'd go even further out this time. See if he chases it again. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Now another 2 2. Fouled straight back. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Rendon. In now is Anthony Rendon. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard on the ground to second. Cabrera's up with it. Throw on to first, and we are going to the 11th inning. Nationals gone in order, and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He was a ground out victim last time up. <laughs> Takes a knee high fastball. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Hit back up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. That is a great two-strike approach. Spread his legs out, kept the hands back, and just punched the ball through for a ground ball base hit. Go-ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Into the box as Dribble Cabrera runners off for second. Grounded back up the middle. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now battle. Right fielder, Michael Conforto. Digging in once again, Michael Conforto. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Now a sinker this time but this ball stays outside as he loses him here it's ball four. And with first base open the last thing the he wanted to do was give him something to hit in the heart of the zone. So no harm done force out anywhere now. Here's you on assessments. His day at the plate hasn't amounted to much 0 for 4 but this is a great opportunity to make amends. Well when your team really needs you like they need it right here you have to be able to put your personal struggles out of your mind right now is all that matters. Get the double play you joker. Now the one and two pitch pulled high in the air out to left field. Zimmerman is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. The third baseman number five David Wright. Ready for another shot now David Wright no hits in three tries so far he struck out once. Two down runners at first and second. One and two now. Now the one and two pitch. A little bouncer. That winds up foul. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him.
ball two. There's that tight slider right there. Just missed getting under the hands. That's a good pitch. I like that pitch. But if you don't get it where you want it, it could be a dangerous pitch to throw. Two men are on with two men out. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw to first ends the inning. Two left for the Mets. We are still scoreless. Ready once again, Adam Lind, as he sat to get the bottom of the 11th started. Line fouled off to the left and a few rows back. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Uh, got him on the good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. Wow, we've seen some really Our impressive pitcher, pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all Your game long. Play. Derek Norris will get the call the here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 23, Derek Norris. Now a swing and a ground ball for the second baseman, Cabrera. Pro gets him, two down. Ready for another chance? Matt Wieters. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's the one and one pitch. And this is fouled back and out of play. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Two out, nobody on. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Three up, three down for Washington. Still no score. Trevor Gott gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. Number 26, Trevor Gott. And here to hit now is Matt Reynolds. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Just a bit low, ball three. The pitch. Called strike, and that'll run it full. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And possibly an interesting development here. It's a leadoff walk to begin the frame in extra innings. Next for the well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so Travis maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. In now, Travis Darno. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now 1 and 2. As a look, now the pitch. That misses and we're even at 2 and 2.
Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Here's a high pop-up. Room for Weeders behind the plate. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. Programming note to pass along here. Due to the length of our ball game tonight, the Jody Kelsey show will not be seen this evening so that we can bring you the conclusion of this ball game. Doggone. Digging in to try it again. Juan Ligares. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. The 3-0. And he misses with it, ball four. So the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially it? in extra well, innings. He didn't Josh. try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Brandon Nimmo will get the call to pinch hit here, and he'll find he has a couple of runners aboard with only one out in the inning. Pickoff move to second. Runner back standing. And the runner's breaking for third. Swing and a missed strike. And he will be nailed at third on a questionable decision, to say the least, and the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't leave us just yet. It's starting to get good. We're back for more on MLB Network. Hansel Robles will be summoned here to start the home 12th, and the best-case scenario for him is to take us to the 13th. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into the windup. Here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Two and two count. Here it comes. Boy, good fight on the slider, and it just missed inside. Ball three, the nine hitter, and everybody's kind of going, all right, if we can just get him to walk him with the leadoff guy coming up next, they got a chance to have a big inning. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. The batter number seven, shortstop. Riding in once again, Trey Turner. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. One out, nobody on. Out of play. The payoff pitch one more time. Mine to the right side. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Stepping in now, Adam Eaton. As he sends it on the ground to first. On to first, and we're headed to 13 as that ends the inning. Nationals gone in order, and this is still a nothing-nothing ballgame. Digging in and looking for more, Jose Reyes. He singled his last time up. Called a strike and it's full three and two. Crowd gets up for the three two. And this is fouled at the plane. Another full count pitch home. 
This is sent on the ground now for the first baseman Lind. And he'll step on first himself for the out. The batter number 13, second baseman, has Dribble Cabrera. Stepping in and ready for another shot as Dribble Cabrera. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. Bases are empty. One man out. Sent on the ground out to second. On the first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. The right fielder number 30, Michael Conforto. Stepping in, Michael Conforto. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Yet another shot to end it right here as we move on to the home half of the inning, and we still have no score. Here's Daniel Murphy now. A hat trick already to his credit in this one, so he's looking to avoid the dreaded golden sombrero here. Here's the one and one pitch. Called strike over the outside part of the plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two line drive to left and that's a base hit. So the pressure's on to open up the inning. Going to be interesting to see how they play this deep into extra innings and now they've got the winning run on. Old school would probably bunt and move them into scoring position. But that's not an automatic decision these days. We'll see what they do. Now time is called and a very wise decision here with the potential winning run at first. They'll opt to put a little extra speed on the base pass. Standing in now. Bryce Harper. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Cespedes comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Number six, Anthony Rendon. In now is Anthony Rendon. He was a ground out victim last time up. Possible winning run on first, one man away. This is line to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw comes in quickly, so the winning run advances to second now with only one away. First baseman, Adam Lynn. Here's Adam Lind. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the 2-2 pitch. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds it 2-2. Two and two. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still 2-2. Two and two. Well, that got him in the rocking chair right now. A little change-up, follow-up, fastball. He's a little late with that swing. I may go back with another change-up. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. On the first here as Lind is set down now two away. Now batting the pitcher Trevor Gunn. Jose Lobaton will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. 59, Jose Lobaton. Big spot here. Possible winning run at third. Two down. Now here's a ground ball up the middle and into center field for a base hit. And forget about the four-game sweep. They stay alive and walk off a winner.
Man, the postseason always seems to deliver big moments, and this was no exception. A walk-off in the final at bat ends it, and there's Bedlam at home plate. Wow! No better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason, and that's exactly what this man did. He's our top player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. series three games to one so that'll put a wrap on things here this evening for my partners Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak this is Matt Vaskersian this has been a presentation of MLB Network good night everybody the final line score for the ball game tonight for the victorious Washington Nationals one run Four hits, no errors. They left two men on base. For the Mets, no runs. Four hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside the park home run. His first big league homer and inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? Three and two. High fly ball to center, and that ball.